Hi there, I'm a VFX artist and 3D animator and I want to show you how to create this beautiful hologram effect or maybe x-ray effect depending on how you want to use it. Uh, I've done it with uh, Armand Shader in Maya Autodesk. I've done it already but didn't record it so let me try to do it on another model. That one was a skull and this one would be a brain <laughs> another body part. I've been working on a animation, a medical animation project uh, for a client and I have some 3D body parts to play around with. So um, let's do it with the brain and I will also show you how to do the simulation and cloth simulation. I'll show you how to make them disassemble and assemble again. So um, if you're ready, let's start and I will walk you through with my voice over. All right, so for starters, let's quickly uh, set up the scene and delete everything that we don't need and uh, scale down the brain. I sped up a little bit on this one because you probably know how to set up the project and I will slow down on the important moments. For example, here we attach a simple uh, AI standard surface shader. I rename it to Holo just to know that that's for hologram. All right, and then we go to geometry, opacity, and then here find multiply. AI multiply, that's what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. We got these two inputs and let's give the color for the first input. Let's have it uh, in blue hues, something like that. All right, and for the second one, we want to type facial ratio. AI, oh, actually facing, AI facing ratio, okay? Uh, we click convert, and now we can try our first render. We can play with these things, but let's try to render. And guess what? There's not gonna be anything. But let me do it first. Okay. Uh, here I'm thinking why it's not working. And then I remember, yes, we have to go to a mission and uh, tune it up uh, all the way. And now it's gonna work. And now it already looks like something, but not what I promised you. So I'm um, thinking again, what did I forget? Let me make it bigger for you so you can um, see it more clearly. Let's make it 180. Okay. And render it out again. Let's find for the genic part of this brain, though any part looks like a butt, I think. Anyway, um, let's go back to the settings uh, of the facial facing ratio over here, and uh, let's let's make adjustments uh, differently. So this is still not gonna look uh, good. It's actually gonna look worse. Yep, not very interesting. Okay, and now I'm gonna go the other way, not the other way, the other, yes, yes, yes. And the other one, yes, thank you. So now it's gonna look awesome. Here it is. Wonderful, guys. And now let's try to do the simulation. So first, to do the simulation, we need to uh, create uh, the plane and delete history in order to kind of uh, lighten up our scene. We go to FX, we go to end cloth and create end cloth. And then we need to do the uh, collider, otherwise our end cloth will just go through down. And uh, that's important part. We need to click play every frame so the computer can play it at the uh, every frame as it simulates, not every 24 frames. So, um, as you can see, this is not the result uh, we are 
we want it to get because there's no kind of particle type of thing this just brain is just uh, falling down and that's how it looks it might work for some scenes kind of like smashed brain a little bit uh, but that's not what we want we want uh, particles to be separated for that we need to detach it first by the way for this scene this is um, uh, the mesh uh, is done in quads I uh, made it uh, in triangles to have more irregular shape you see I changed it in triangles but you can do triangles or quads it doesn't matter now what we need to do we need to uh, select all the edges we go to mesh tools nope no we go to edit mesh and we detach wait a little bit uh, I'm speeding up the video here and once it's done uh, let's take um, a face and you see I could pull it out uh, from the uh, from the object so we separated faces and now we can do our end cloth animation again so end class let's do the collider the floor gonna be our collider and class create passive collider and let's start our simulation you can see now it's the, by the way it's not that fast uh, I'm speeding up this process but you can see how particles are detaching from each other already. Okay, it takes a bit to render. And let's add motion blur. It's going to look better with motion blur, more realistic. So, and basically, uh, that's going to be the final result after everything is simulated and rendered. And then if you want uh, you want it to assemble again, it's just in your video software, you reverse the time. I hope it was helpful and you can use it in your practice. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and comment and uh, like and subscribe and see you in the next video.